Oftentimes, you see people's success, but you really don't know their story. And here on the Reflection Show, Triumph Tuesday, we talk about overcoming adversities and celebrating the victories, highlighting successful stories. This is Triumph Tuesday. Welcome to The Reflection Show. My name is Ramsey Rizard. It is Triumph Tuesday, and I'm so excited because there is a story that I'm highlighting about overcoming adversities and celebrating your victories. And this is a really good brother of mine right here in Central Florida. We have Jamawi! Appreciate What's it. up, man? Everything's good, man. I can't I, complain. I'm so happy you're on the show, you know, just coming here and just to talk about your story, you know. Pretty much, uh, I had the story of, you know, at faith-based, uh, come from the lineage of pastors, bishops, superintendents, the whole nine, hmm. um, and had the upbringing. We used to have a ministry on Paramore in Washington um, for the first 12 years of my life. Dealt with, you know, not being rich, not having a silver spoon, dealt with, you know, divorce inside the home and all those different things. But uh, the biggest thing for me was just uh, remaining faithful, which my parents instilled into us, my whole family, yeah. um, and remaining God conscious in everything that we do. So through your challenges, right, through the adversities you were dealing with, I'm pretty sure there was a mental health moment there where you felt like Jamal was alone. Man, you know what? It's, uh, there's a time where quietness is important. Hmm. And uh, becoming alone allowed me to get quiet it allowed me to understand myself. Hmm. Um, I was already making plans for the second part of my future. So you was already making a plan. Yeah. Knowing the route that you were going to into the major league baseball, you were already setting yourself up. And what was that transition like seeing yourself actually win one of your goals and one of your accomplishments, getting into the league, especially having family members who was already in the league? Well, that was, that was Life-changing. I mean, <laughs> Talk to look, me. just to see, like, my brother had already made it. My sister was a Hall of Fame track runner at Southern University, wow. HBCU. Um, I ended up at University of Miami. You can't draw that plan up. Yeah. Uh, you can't make two kids come from the same household and go into Major League Baseball. As a matter of fact, um, we're the only black baseball brothers um, that were first-rounders and have Major League careers besides the Upton brothers wow. in the history of baseball. The only. When you look into that mirror right there, what could you tell that 12-year-old, that 15-year-old, that 27-year-old, or even that 60-year-old? What words of reflection could you share with them as we end the show? What I would say to them is, um, if you don't know your purpose, your passion, your direction, um, be inspired. Hmm. Be inspired. Um, Watch those that, that you will gravitate towards, that you see the light in, and be inspired by them. And as you take your journey, learning who you are, learning what you're trying to do, just be inspired by the leader that you see. And that person will help you, and they will be able to guide you into whatever your passion, whatever your purpose is. And the other thing that I would say is stay consistent, always have perseverance, right? And then always be faithful to your journey. So have faith in your journey, have perseverance to get through it, and have consistency so that you always remain relevant with inside your purpose. Be inspired, be faithful to what you believe is yours, and don't stop believing. This is a great word that we just heard here from the one and only Jamal Weeks right here on The Reflection Show. And I just wanna remind you that you have the ability to go out and to conquer what I believe is yours, what we believe is yours. If you take, take it by the hands, grab a grip, and position yourself to move forward, you'll see the end of that tunnel where destiny will embrace you. This is Ramsey Rizard on The Reflection Show. Don't forget, www.thereflectionshow.com. And remember, your experience matters. Thank you so much for watching.